welcome to the Blendrick 6 presentation video. The rigging system used in many of the Blender open movies is back. This is your host, Juan Pablo Bosa. Let's dive right into it. The main achievement with this release is that all the manual work that was previously required has been condensed into automated rigging assistant guides. Each step of the guides has explanatory text and animated images that will show you exactly what to do. The first guide will let you fit the rig onto your character. In each step, only the necessary controllers will be shown. For the facial rig, you will edit a mesh mask that will automatically place the deformation bones. Once you finish placing the main controllers, it's time to bake the rig and move on to the next guide. Now let's get started with the basic deformation. The Weights Transfer Guide will let you copy the weights of pre-weighted meshes onto your character. These meshes were baked with the rig, so they are already fitting the proportions of your character. After tweaking the mesh to get a clean transfer, you transfer the weights and you test deformation right away. The same procedure applies to the hands of the character. The better you align the pre-weighted meshes to your model, the better out-of-the-box deformation you will get. In order to deform the body of the character, Blendrig makes use of Mesh Deform. This modifier is the most advanced deformation technique Blender currently has for organic models. Basically, we will use a low-resolution cage to drive the deformation of the character. The idea is to wrap the cage around your meshes. When you are done, you just press the Bind button and test deformation. As you see, without doing any weight painting at all, we are getting really acceptable deformation with these methods. I would say that for a secondary character we could call it a day, but we are making Pixar or Blender Studio quality characters here, so let's move on. The lattices guide will help you place the lattices that will allow the character to have cartoony deformation. It's also important to note that in all of this process, the modifier setup has been automatically added by the guides. Now, if you think that weight painting is a complete waste of time as I do, I've got good news for you. In the weight painting guide, you rarely need to do any weight painting at all. The goal of this guide is to improve the out-of-the-box deformation by preserving the volume of the joints. These steps will take you through each of those joints and you will be able to preview how deformation looks with predefined poses. In each pose, you can tweak the values of the volume preservation bones to improve the results. In case you still need to tweak the weight painting, you can always press the toggle weight painting button and edit the weights. If you're editing the joints of the body, the painting will occur on the mesh deformed cage. You can also select the character at any time and edit the corrective smooth modifier vertex group to enhance some areas. When you reach the hands, you will be able to check the weights of each joint to clean up the automatic transfer. Most of the time, only minor tweaks will be needed, and the bulk of the deformation enhancement process will rely on adjusting the volume preservation sliders on each pose. When you reach the steps of the face, you will go through predefined poses, checking the weights on the visible bones. For a main character, you should pay special attention to the weights on the eyelids and on the lips. And well, though it's a good thing that the weights look good, you will have the chance to make further tweaks to the deformation with shapes in a later step. The next guide is the Actions Guide. Here, you will customize the predefined motions of the rig, such as automatic finger movements, eye blinking, also the behavior of complex mouth movements, such as the u vowel. And again, all this is simplified for the user. You just need to move the controllers that you see and try to mimic what the explanatory image of this step is doing. So the good thing about this is that you don't need to add keyframes or select the actions. You just tweak what you see and you move to the next step. Everything else is done in the background. On the other hand, the advanced settings guide allows you to set very specific parameters on the rig. For instance, automatic shoulder movement, foot roll behavior, squash and stretch volume variation, the amount the eyelids follow the movement of the eyes, and lips collision, among other parameters. Finally, we got to the last guide, which is the shape kiss guide. 
Following the same concept as of the weight painting guide, the steps of this guide will take you through each joint of the character, previewing the deformation with predefined poses. The idea is to make this simple, you just tweak what you see, no need to add shape keys or drivers, this is all done automatically for you. All you need to do is to travel through the poses, fine tuning what you're seeing, and then you move to the next pose. When you are editing the body shape keys, you will be editing the mesh deformed cage geometry. On the other hand, when you edit the face or the hands shape keys, you will be editing the mesh of the character directly. Thanks to our recent development by the Blender Studio, now we are also able to use the sculpt tools directly on the character's mesh while editing a shape key. Blendrick also features secondary tools such as a bone shapes editor, vertex groups and shape keys operators to name a few. In fact, all the actions that are done automatically by the guides can also be replicated with this set of tools. Well, I really hope that you enjoy working with Blendrick 6. It is our attempt to lead you through the way of creating professionally looking characters without the need of actually knowing anything about rigging in Blender. Your characters will be granted with a super flexible rig and one of the most advanced facial rigs out there. Hopefully with your support we will be able to continue developing these tools to make them even more powerful. If you want to see the rig in action, don't forget to check the Blend Rig, the Fredagon Skeleton video tutorials. See you next time, rock on and happy blending!